Can you do me a favor? What do you want, Jeffy? Can you throw this baseball as fast as you can at my eye? Why would I do that, Jeffy? Because I want to see what a bat sees when it hits a baseball. Jeffy, you don't need to see what that looks like. <laughs> what it looked like. Ow, Jeffy, why would you do that? That really hurt. I wanted to know what it looked like. Well, all I saw was a ball hit me in the face and then it hurt. That's what she said. Jeffy, look, I'm not going to throw a baseball at your eye. Get someone else to do it. All right, buddy. You gave me a black eye. No, I'm a cow. Hey, can you do me a favor? Moo! Meow! Quack, 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 quack! We snore! Okay, you win, Mr. Hippo. I was supposed to be a donkey. Oh, okay. Anyway, can you do me a favor and throw this baseball as fast as you can at my eye? Sure, I love throwing baseballs. Let me see it. Okay, get ready for the super fast, double decker, fast make fast or send fastball special! Ah! Mm, ow. Whoa, kid! You got a wicked boo boo on your eye! You should get your mommy to kiss it. My mommy's in jail. Mine too! Best friends forever! Wookity, 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 wookity! Okay, see you later, best friend! Alright, see you at school! Alright, class, today we have a guest speaker, and it's a cop. Do I smell baking, class? Oink, 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 oink. How incredibly inappropriate. All right, class. Now remember, hide your rugs with a deer in front of it, or you might get arrested. Yeah, well, anyway, I am your guest speaker. I, I'm the bacon, I guess, but I'd rather you call me Officer Brooklyn T. Guy. Now, I'm here today to talk to you about why police officers are your friends and that you should be nice to them, okay? But, you know, as a cop, I guess I should probably start out by saying, you know, don't talk to strangers and all that unless they got money. I mean, you know how that goes. You know, like he said, don't do rugs with a D in front of it. Well, that's bad. Uh, but mostly, I'm just here to tell you why you should be nice to me and the kind of things I have to deal with on a daily basis. So, every morning, I wake up next to my fat wife who spits in my coffee and tells me I'm worthless and that'll never amount to anything. So, obviously, I've got a lot of rage built up after that, so I pull over the first car I see. Just the very, very first one, and I just really let him have it, you know? I just really lay into him. I just turn off the old body cam and really give it to him. I'm tasing him, hitting him with the taser, I'm just, I'm just, I'm beating him up, right? But after that, I've got all the rage out of my system, so... The next car I pull over, I just let them off with a warning. Unless it's a hot chick, you know? <laughs> then, you know, maybe you show me a little something, then I'll let you go, you know? There, there's this one hot chick, oh, I pull her over every single day. She's like, why are you pulling me over? I'm like, you know why. Come on, show me. Let me see him. That's right. She's got the best Pokemon cards. Mm. Mm. I'd give her a slow poke if you know what I mean. Anyway, yeah, so... Uh, oh, Jeffy! Oh, what's up, Junior? What happened to your eye? Oh, this? Well, I won't. You got in a fight? No, I won't. Wait, Jeffy got in a fight? Yeah, I think Jeffy got in a fight. Look at his eye. No, I didn't. Whoa, what happened? You get in a fight with a bear? No. Did you get in a fight with a family of bears? No. Did you try to take their porridge? No. Did you jump out of a burning building and land on your eye? Well, would that be cool? That'd be so cool. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, what happened? Jeffy, tell us what happened. Yeah, you have to tell us. Yeah, was it something cool? Uh, uh, something cool? Yeah, was it something cool? Uh, oh, my God. You guys want to hear something cool? Yeah, what happened? All right, this is exactly what happened. Hey, hey, was I talking or were you talking? Because I'm pretty sure I was talking. Right, look at this, look, it says guest speaker right here in chalk. That's me, I'm the guest speaker. I came here to talk today. Unless you have a better story to tell. All right, you know what, come on up here. Come on and tell your really cool story. No, I, I want to hear your story about how much of a hero you are and how you save lives every day like me. Come on, no, come on up here, I want to hear it. Yeah, Jeffy, go up there and tell your story. Yeah, tell us. Okay. Come on up here, big man. Can't wait to hear your story. That's a nice black eye you got there. You know, I had a black eye one time. You want to know how I got it? I was saving a dog from a hot car, and I opened the car door too fast and hit myself in the eye, but I still saved the puppy, so... Bleh. All right, let's hear your stupid story. All right, so this is the story on how I got my black eye. So I woke up this morning. All right, the story's pretty similar to mine so far, but go ahead. And I heard on the news that there was a building on fire. Ugh. Mm -mm. I'm a firefighter, so that doesn't really matter, big whoop. But there were 45 babies trapped on the top floor. Yeah, wait, really? Yeah, and no firefighter was brave enough to go into the burning building because it was too hot. Oh no. And then I saw that there was the only work for Jeffy. And so I ran into the building and I jumped over the fire. And I ran all the way up to the top floor. And all I did was start grabbing all the babies. So I was holding 45 babies. 
and I was trying to run out of the building as fast as I could. But I dropped the baby. But I cut the baby with my foot. <sighs> so I was hopping and I, and I realized that there was no way out. So I had to go to the top floor of the building. So I was on the roof of the building and I looked down and I said, I gotta get down from here. But there was no way down. So I had to think quick. So I hurried up and I made a parachute out of the baby diapers. Oh, it's genius. And I jumped down and I parachuted to safety. Oh, thank God. And I landed safely on the ground. Whew. But then there was an earthquake. Oh no. And then Godzilla popped out in between the earth. And he said, oh, I'm hungry for babies. And I said, no, Mr. Godzilla, babies are not on the menu today. And, and then he poked me in the eye. Oh, that Godzilla. And, and, and I only using one of my eyes and, and one of my foot. And I was still hopping on my foot. I, I kicked him in the space and I beat him up. And then, and then, and then, and then all the babies got adopted. Wow. Oh my God. That, that was the most beautiful story I've ever heard. Kid, you're a hero. You, you know what? Take my shirt and, and my hat too. You deserve it. C class, class cheer for him. He's a hero. He saved those babies and he saved the world. Everybody cheer. Hero, hero, hero. The whole world needs to know about you. Breaking news, okay? A 15-year-old boy has saved 45 babies from a burning building, and then he saved the world from Godzilla. We have Brooklyn Tea Guy now with a live press conference. Brooklyn? Thanks, Goodman. I'm here with Jeffy, the true American hero who saved 45 babies from a burning building and then kicked Godzilla into space. Yep, sure did. Jeffy, we'd like to present you with this WSA medal, the World Savior Award. We'd also like to present you with this, the Saving Babies from a Burning Building medal. For all those babies you saved from that burning building. Oh, you can just call me 2 Change. I'm out here. Mm. Uh, well, hold on. Uh, oh, okay. We're getting word now from scientists who are saying that there was no earthquake recently and that there's been no seismic activity. Your mom is showing signs of seismic activity. Ouch. Ouch, ladies and gentlemen. He's not just a hero. He's also a burn specialist. What? Hey there, father of a hero. What's going on? Hey, Danny. You can call me 2 Change. I'm out here. I'm making moves, Danny. Yeah, your son's a real hero. He saved 45 babies from a burning building, and he beat up Godzilla. Oh, he did all that? Yep, sure did, Danny. Yeah, didn't you see the news? He's even got the black eye to prove it. Well, actually, now that I'm looking at it, you have a black eye, too. How'd that happen? Oh, uh, my son Jeffy threw a baseball at my face. Wait, what? Oh, d don't you remember, Danny? Godzilla gave me the black eye. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Godzilla gave me this black eye. Yeah, he, he, he started flying, and his wings hit me in the eye. Well, well, Godzilla doesn't have wings. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, his tail hit me in the eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad my son Jeffy told the truth and, and said he saved all those babies and, 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 and beat up Godzilla. Like, do you have proof that any of this happened? Well, I mean, there are some questions. I mean, we, 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 we don't know anything about a fire happening recently, and uh, they haven't been able to prove that there was an earthquake, but he has a black eye, so I believe him. Yep. But anyway, I'm just going to leave you two alone. You have fun being a hero. Jeffy, explain why you lied to the entire world and said you did all this stuff that you didn't do. Well, Danny, I was going to tell my friends what really happened with my black eye, but they wanted to hear a cool story. So I had to make up something cool so that they thought I was cool. Jeffy, you lied to the entire world. Now they think you're some hero or something that you didn't do. Jeffy, you know what? You're going to sit here and think about what you did because I did not raise no liar. But Danny, nothing bad's going to come of it. <sighs> well, yeah, we'll see, Jeffy. Hey. Oh, hey, best friend. Don't call me that. You're a liar. Oh, what did I lie about? I know how you really got that black eye, and you didn't really save all those babies. And I know Godzilla personally, and you, sir, did not fight Godzilla. He is a nice man. So we'll see who the real hero is next time a building catches fire. Why aren't you wearing shoes? <sighs> Jeff, let's just watch TV. <sighs> Okay, there is currently a hospital that is on fire with 50 babies trapped inside. The fire department and emergency personnel are currently not responding because we know that the hero Jeffy will arrive shortly to save the day. Pampers has already airdropped a box of diapers to the top of the hospital so when Jeffy gets to the roof, he can build another parachute out of diapers and glide to safety. Jeffy, if you can hear us, we need you now more than ever.
Well, would you? Look at that, Jeffy. There's a hospital on fire with 50 babies in it, and they expect you to save them, so go save them. I didn't have to. Oh, uh, yeah, you do. Oh, uh, nah, nah. uh, yeah, you do. Oh, uh, nah, nah. uh, yeah, you do, Jeffy, because you lied to the world and said you did it before, so they expect you to do it again. So, what are you doing, Jeffy? I'm turning off my ears, Daddy, so I can't hear you anymore. You can't just turn off your ears, Jeffy. That's not how it works. Jeffy! You can't turn off your ears, Jeffy. You can hear me. Jeffy, thank God I found you. There's a hospital that's on fire and there are 50... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Don't waste your breath. He can't hear you. But why not? Because he just turned his ears off. What? Yeah, he just turned his ears off. Yeah, apparently he can do that. Well, can he turn it back on? This is an emergency. Jeffy, can you turn your ears back on for the nice firefighter man? Please? All right, Daddy, my ears are back on. Watch out. Okay, there are, there's a hospital that's on fire, and there are 50 babies trapped on the top. You're just going to turn your ears back off. Jimmy, you cannot just turn your ears. Listen to the man. Listen to him. Jimmy, turn your ears back on. <laughs> Turn it back on, Jeffy. Daddy, why did you turn my ears back on? Because you need to listen to the firefighter. Now listen. Okay, Jeffy, there is a hospital that's on fire, and there are 50 babies trapped in the top in the, in the top floor. J Jeffy? Jeffy? Listen to him. Listen to him right now. All right, Daddy. Jeffy, there are 50 babies trapped in the top floor of a burning hospital, and you are the only one that can save them. Well, I can't do it right now. What, what, what are you talking about? There's no time for this. We need you to save those babies. I don't feel good. What, Jeffy, we, we, we can't have you not feeling good. Those babies need you. Yeah, Jeffy, is there something you need to tell the nice firefighter? You know, maybe you should tell the firefighter the truth. Is there something you need to tell the nice firefighter man? Beep. But what, what was that? What was I supposed to get from that? <sighs> okay, what he was trying to tell you was, he was trying to tell you that he's a liar, and he didn't save any babies, there was no earthquake, there was no Godzilla, there was no other babies, he didn't do anything, he just threw a baseball on his eye. W wait, you're telling me he didn't really kick Godzilla into space? No, because Godzilla doesn't exist! What? So he made all of this up? He made it all up, he's a liar! Oh, oh my god, what are we gonna do? We, we gotta save those babies from the burning hospital! Well, well, why don't you call the fire department? They all quit because they thought he could handle it! Well, they all quit? Yeah, I was gonna quit too, I just put in my two weeks notice! Well, well then you're the only one that can save the babies! Well, what, do I look like a firefighter? Yes! You can go save those babies, get in there and save those babies! But you, you really believe in me? Yes! You can go do it, go do it! <clears throat> okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. This, this is my chance to finally prove my wife wrong. I am worth something. I all right, yeah, I'm gonna go save all 50 of those babies. Yeah, you go do it. Go save all 50 of those babies. Breaking news, okay? It turns out that the Jeffy kid was a liar. He didn't save anyone. He's a straight up liar. Anyway, we have a new hero in town. Firefighter Brooklyn T. Guy, who just ran into the burning hospital and saved all 50 of the babies. We have an interview with him now. Brooklyn? Uh, did you say I saved all 50 babies? Because I didn't. I, I mean, I only saved four. I mean, th there's still 46 babies left in that building back there. I mean, it, it's, it's really hot in there, okay? I mean, you can see it. That, that building's on fire. It's really, it's really hard to breathe, okay? I mean, I, I did what I could. I saved four. I mean, one of them got a little burned, but... Uh, oh, wait, never mind. It, can we cut that? No, oh, no, it's live? Oh, oh, man. Well, I mean, I'm still a hero, right? I still get a medal, right? It, I gotta save five babies for the metal? What, are you kidding me? Have you seen that building? Oh my, no, I'm not going back in there. It's not worth the metal for that. No, no it is, it is way too hot in there. Ugh. Well, I saved four, I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, that's, that's four more than that Jeffy kid saved, I'll tell you that. Yeah, how about we talk about that? How about we talk about how he lied, okay? Made me look like a fool on national television. Yeah, there's no way he saved 45, 46, whatever babies from that building over there. I couldn't even save more than four. He only saved four? Hey there. Uh, hey buddy, how's it going? Well, uh, I learned that fires are hot and babies are heavier than they look. Yeah, yeah, so you only saved four? Yeah, yeah I did. You know, I wanted to save more, but I didn't because it was hot and there was fire like everywhere. Just, you know, like fire just all, all over the place, like right up in my face and I couldn't breathe. But, you know, I still saved four babies, which is four more than either of you two losers, so yeah. Jeffy, well, I hope you learned your lesson. I hope you learned your lesson to tell the truth all the time and to always be honest because lying always gets you in trouble. It's always better to tell the truth and to be honest. You turned your ears off, didn't you, Jeffy?